Our uh, vision statement today is to reach for new heights and reveal the unknown so that what we do and learn will benefit all humankind. And we're very proud because I know in the 90s we worked so hard to have a international space station that was built and permanently occupied. It has now been that for over 10 years, almost 11 years, and that's a spacefaring civilization, if you ask me. Uh, but communities beyond the Earth is uh, something that you, you also can uh, accept, in, in my view, on a space station, international community living and working uh, off of the planet is something that NASA, with your help, has helped achieve. Uh, however, I know we want to go further. And I think you know that the whole basis and underpinning for what we are trying to do in this administration is return NASA to that more classical role of our 1958 Space Act of investing in technologies that will then help create the uh, uh, mark new markets so that the private sector can come in, benefit from this technology investment, scientific understandings, and then uh, we move on to do the next hard thing. We aren't here to compete with the private sector. In fact, that's not legal. Uh, we are here. It is not an, uh, a bad thing. It is what we should be doing in the government to open new markets. And this is a role we take very seriously. The issue, though, is that's not our only job. Our job is also to expand farther. Our when I was at NASA in the 90s, I ran the policy office, and we did a review of uh, government and commercial partnerships and how we could, in the government side, best incentivize the private sector. Number of things we came up with, prizes. We drafted the uh, first legislation for authority to give prizes at NASA. We based it on the DARPA language. We didn't happen to get it through in our administration. Luckily, the next one did, and we're still using it now. At that time, we were looking at uh, government guaranteed loans. Uh, it didn't happen to work out, but it's another tool in our toolbox. Anchor tenancy, being that uh, first buyer uh, that can help grow new markets. We are actually the anchor tenant for transportation now on space station. If you look at first cargo and then crew, the whole point is we will pay for this service. So again, it can be offered to others at a lower cost, thereby reducing our marginal costs and going further. So partnerships, uh, our relationship with the private sector is something that we need to expand beyond just a couple small programs at NASA. We are doing Google Lunar X Prize in a way uh, that we think will really incentivize private sector to uh, make their own investments and reach farther, and uh, we need to find more ways to do that. I always felt growing up that I would be a part of this expanding of civilization off the planet, whether my feet leave the planet or not. Some of you know I uh, would love to do that and have made attempts to do that on my own, but it's not what motivates me. What motivates me is this march of civilization, leaving the world a better place than you found it. To me, there could be no greater calling than the survival of humanity, then discovering new things about how we are going to continue this great uh, opportunity in our lives, as Pete said, to be here at this unique time when we take our first steps. So I've committed for certainly my time in government this round to help make sure that we never again have a time when all of our souls are on terra firma. We have not had that since I was at NASA last time, and we are continuing to do that on the International Space Station. But it's not enough. With your help, we'll go further.